Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a charge nurse interview. So if you are applying to become a charge nurse with any healthcare organisation, NHS trust, hospital or medical centre whatsoever, make sure you stay tuned because I will help you to pass your interview. And to achieve that goal, this is what I am going to cover. I will give you a list of charge nurse interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I believe these questions will come up during your charge nurse interview. I will give you unique top scoring answers to difficult charge nurse interview questions. I will give you some really important tips throughout on how to stand out during your charge nurse job interview. And finally, I will tell you how you can access further resources including these slides and the answers to help you succeed. Now, the first question that I want you to prepare for is tell me about yourself. So this is going to be the first charge nurse interview question that you must answer. My advice is to focus on the skills, the qualities and the experience you have that is a match for the charge nurse job description. Make sure you talk about what you will do in the role and how you will always focus on ensuring the highest standards of treatment and care are provided at all times. So here's my example answer to help you pass your interview. Tell me about yourself, here we go. Over the years, I've been working hard to continually develop the necessary skills, qualities and experience to achieve my goal of becoming a charge nurse. Having studied the job description before applying for the position, I'm confident I can come into the role and make a fast and immediate impact. I am an excellent communicator, organiser and leader and I fully understand how important it is as a charge nurse to ensure everyone within the nursing team implements the healthcare values within their daily work. I'm a competent nurse who takes continuous professional development seriously. I make appropriate decisions that are focused on delivering outstanding patient care and treatment and I can quickly resolve conflict within a nursing team to ensure the treatment we provide is always delivered to a first class standard. Now as a charge nurse I will always ensure all staff under my control follow the relevant healthcare rules, operational policies and procedures so that the safety of stakeholders, staff and patients is never compromised. Everything I do as a charge nurse will be focused on contributing to the delivery of the organisation's objectives and I will ensure that I consistently manage and develop the performance of my nursing team to exacting standards. So that's a brilliant in-depth answer to that first charge nurse interview question, tell me about yourself, and it sets you up with confidence for the rest of your interview. Now you can either pause the video if you want to and take a note of the questions and answers as we work through them together. Or if you wait, I will soon tell you where you can download my full set of 25 charge nurse interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today. Here is the next question I recommend you prepare for. Why do you want to be a charge nurse? Now there comes a huge amount of responsibility as a charge nurse, and it is important you demonstrate to the interviewer you are up to the challenge and you have valid and genuine reasons for wanting to work in this senior nursing position. So here's another great example answer to assist you. Why do you want to be a charge nurse? Here we go. I want to be a charge nurse primarily because of the responsibility that comes with the position. The role is one that I have been working towards for several years now. And whilst conducting my nursing duties, I've always felt a desire to have more responsibility and to lead a team of nurses. I feel a natural affinity to a leadership role within nursing and I believe the skills and qualities I possess lend themselves to a role that comes with this level of responsibility. As a charge nurse I will get to enhance the patient's experience and promote a culture of person-centred care within the team I am responsible for and I find these aspects of the role very appealing. So that's another really good answer. The language that you are using is professional and again it sets you up with confidence for the remainder of your charge nurse interview. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to work through with you. But when you're ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download my full set of 25 
charge nurse interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today. But here's the next question to help you. What will be the most challenging aspects of being a charge nurse? Now this question comes up often during charge nurse interviews. Now because the role is challenging, the interviewer wants to know which aspects of being a charge nurse you will find the most difficult. So here's another great answer to assist you. What will be the most challenging aspects of being a charge nurse? Having considered the role of a charge nurse carefully prior to applying, I believe the most challenging aspects will be ensuring I effectively manage and prioritise competing demands of the role within an ever-changing environment. Making sure I coordinate resources and staff to maintain optimum service delivery levels so that first class treatment and care can always be provided and also balancing the needs of partners, staff and patients to ensure a continuous safe, effective and efficient service is always maintained. Now although these will be challenging aspects of the position, I believe the level of skill and experience I have gained over the years, coupled with the high standards I always work to, will ensure I consistently meet the demands of the role. So that shows that you have analysed the role of being a charge nurse, you understand which aspects are going to be most difficult and you give a professional response to it and you explain that you already have the right level of skill and experience to manage these challenging elements of the role. Here is the next question I recommend you prepare for. What's your definition of compassionate care and how would you deliver it as a charge nurse? Now one of your responsibilities as a charge nurse will be to ensure all nurses under your control deliver compassionate care. Now there are two parts to this interview question and here's a great example answer to assist you. What's your definition of compassionate care and how would you deliver it as a charge nurse? My definition of compassionate care is recognising, respecting and responding to all patients in an appropriate manner whilst ensuring the highest standards of treatment and care are provided at all times. Compassionate care involves demonstrating genuine empathy and understanding for a patient's situation whilst at the same time ensuring dignity is maintained for those people receiving treatment or care. To ensure compassionate care is delivered within the nursing team I am responsible for, I would insist that everyone practised good manners, showed a personal interest in all patients and they used effective communication and listening skills to understand what a patient has been going through. I would ensure all nurses acknowledged how a patient must be feeling and they took their time to assess a patient's situation so that the right level of, of treatment and care is provided for them. So that's another really good answer. It shows you fully understand what compassionate care is and how you would deliver it as a charge nurse. So here's the next charge nurse interview question that I recommend you prepare for. Tell me about a time when you had to handle a high pressure situation. Now one of your responsibilities as a charge nurse will be to make effective decisions during difficult situations. Think of a previous challenging situation you have been in where you had to manage multiple tasks with limited resources. So here's another great answer to help you. Tell me about a time when you had to handle a high pressure situation. I was working as a nurse on a hospital ward during a very busy weekend period in the winter. Not only were we dealing with the outbreak of a pandemic, but we also had to deal with a road traffic collision that had just occurred involving four seriously hurt casualties. Now, during the shift, I remained calm. I prioritised my work accordingly based on numerous triage assessments and I ensured resources were allocated based on the strengths and expertise of each member of the nursing team. I was literally going from patient to patient throughout the shift without a break and whilst it was exhausting for all of us in the team, we supported each other, we focused on delivering a high standard of treatment and care and we pulled resources from other departments where possible. I believe I always thrive in high pressure situations and as a charge nurse, I would use all my experience and training I would implement a logical approach to the allocation of tasks and resources and I would ensure everyone within the nursing team stayed focused on our core values and what it was we were striving to achieve. That's a really good example answer, a specific situation that you've been in where you have had to handle high pressure situations. Here's the next question. What are the most important skills and qualities needed to be a charge nurse? Now whilst preparing for your charge nurse interview, my advice is to make sure you read the job description. 
because unless you have read the job description, you will not be able to answer some of the interview questions, including this one. So here's another great answer to help you. What are the most important skills and qualities needed to be a charge nurse? To be effective as a charge nurse, I will need various skills and qualities, including being an excellent communicator and listener, being able to provide first class treatment and care, and having a thorough understanding of the core values applicable to this healthcare organisation. I must ensure all tasks are carried out safely and in line with nursing operational procedures and be constantly open to organisational change and continuous improvement. As a charge nurse, I must be a strong and confident leader, be willing to solve challenging problems, ensure the nursing staff I am responsible for maintain competence and personally have a level of strategic awareness that is designed to help the healthcare organisation achieve its objectives. So that's another professional answer that shows you thoroughly understand the important skills and qualities needed to be a competent charge nurse. Here's a next question that I want you to prepare for. Tell me about a time when you mentored a work colleague. Now, part of your responsibilities as a charge nurse will be to train and mentor other nurses. So think of a situation you've been in where you either advised, mentored or trained a member of the nursing team or healthcare staff to work to exacting standards. So here's another great answer to help you. Tell me about a time when you mentored a work colleague. Several months back, a newly qualified nurse joined our ward and I volunteered to mentor her during her first few months in the role. Now, I started out by introducing myself, by outlining my experience and by creating a plan of action of what I would show her during our time together. I assessed her level of knowledge, her understanding of the six C's of nursing and how she would apply these within her work and her understanding of the healthcare values. I dedicated a few minutes each shift to teaching her something new and gave her lots of opportunities to ask questions. Now, at the end of each week, we reflected on her performance and she soon reached a good level of competence as a nurse on the ward. That's another really good answer that helps you prepare fully for your charge nurse interview. Now, the next thing to do is please click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video. Head over to my website, passmyinterview.com and you can download my full set of 25 charge nurse interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we have just covered today during this presentation. It will make a massive difference to your performance at your charge nurse interview, so I recommend you check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I am on a mission to help as many of you as possible to pass your interviews. I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please give the video a thumbs up because that motivates me to create more content for you. And please don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video and it's always good to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I wish you all the best for passing your charge nurse interview. Have a brilliant day.